Very good morning, once again. Uh, all doing well? Yes. Yeah. Did you all sleep well? Hi, Rohit. Good morning. Thanks for joining online. Yeah. Why don't we just uh, go ahead, stand up? Um, I just feel like um, let's take like a couple of minutes. Stand up, stand up. and uh, um, I just feel like we need to uh, just acknowledge his presence with us this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into our midst. We want to pause, we want to acknowledge your presence in our midst, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. So come, Father, come and have your way. We are here to honor you. We are here to love on you. We are here to worship you. So even as we learn from your word, Holy Spirit, let there be revelation upon revelation of who you are, God. Let there be a, a fresh outpouring of your spirit as we learn from your word, Jesus. I pray that our hearts will be tender even as we learn. I pray that, that the, the seeds of your word will go deep into our hearts and bear fruit, Jesus. Lord, I pray that even as we learn from your word, that there will be a longing, that there will be, that there will be no satisfaction, Jesus. I pray that, that we will just become more hungry and more desperate for more of you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and be seated. Thank you. Hi, Viku. Rohit, once again, thanks for joining us online. Uh, okay. So in the last chapter, we... Uh, chapter 4, we were talking about the power of praise. Yeah, you remember that story, right? The power of praise. How many of you remember? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, Surya. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. Jachan, good morning. Welcome. Yeah. All right. Krisha, welcome. Good to see you. Right, so um, last class we discussed about uh, the power of praise, right? From the story of King Jehoshaphat. Uh, it has to be one of my favorite stories. Uh, there's so many things that you can learn about it. You can learn about the power of praise. You can learn about praise and warfare in that story, uh, how God is inviting us. And also about, uh, very briefly, uh, the, of the power of praise from the life of Paul and Silas. Yeah, um, it sometimes it can. The story of Paul and Silas is so familiar, so popular uh, that we tend to lose the significance of it. Like, uh, especially if if you're born and raised in a Christian family like me, you've heard that story of Paul and Silas and David and Goliath. From it's reduced to what we call it as a Sunday school story. Uh, not disrespectful to Sunday school stories, uh, but then. Uh, it's just so much more powerful, right? Uh, so one of the things that we discussed uh, is that there is power in praise. There is power in your praise, right? And uh, one, another thing, as I was reading that passage again, I just realized that praise changes the atmosphere, right? Praise changes the atmosphere. You know what an atmosphere is, right? The earth has an atmosphere. If you go outside of the atmosphere, you die. 
when you're within that atmosphere of the earth, you're able to breathe and move and whatnot. But so praise changes the atmosphere, right? So if you're in a dark, like Paul and Silas were, they were in prison and whatnot. But when they begin to praise, the situations and the circumstances around them began to change, right? So that's what praise does, right? So that's where we were. We discussed, and I really hope that you uh, were able to uh, read other scriptures that's mentioned in your notes because uh, i know you all are all very studious and uh, i'm sure you all did it <laughs> right the story of uh, jericho and uh, gideon um, those are all powerful powerful narratives of, of the power of praise okay um just continuing on with this chapter in page 17 uh, as a conclusion uh, the next section is talking about expressions of praise right uh, what is expressions of praise what is an expression? What is an expression? <clears throat> You're giving me different expressions right now. <laughs> Laughing is an expression. Smiling is an expression. Sleepy is an expression. <laughs> Donk hair is an expression. <laughs> Anger is an expression. Yeah. Happiness, joy is an expression. All right. So when you're happy, how do you express? You smile, you high five, you give a hug, or you know tears of joy, <laughs> right? Uh, tears of happiness, Anand Kanir. I don't know how do you say it in Hindi. Yeah, Sean. Okay, so when you're happy, you are much more louder than you usually are. Oh right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry? Can you be a little louder? The sign of in, oh, inner feeling. Yeah, OK, cool. Thanks. Um, when, when you're filled with joy, how do you express? When you're filled with joy, how do you express? <laughs> what are the different expressions of joy? Oh, that's a jump. OK. so. So you feel sleepy when you're when when you're filled with joy? Anybody? No, right? I mean, you're excited. You're like very exuberant uh, and whatnot, right? Um, and when you're angry, what do you? How do you express? How do you? How does some of you express anger? See, rather, it's like no, sir. I'm always calm and smiling. I don't. <laughs> Sean, how do you express anger? <laughs> it's like no i'm a christian sir i don't get angry <laughs> so are you you shout and you get over with okay um anybody uh face changes immediately okay jachin says <laughs> okay what else eyes become what red now <laughs> yeah and what else guys prince when you get break Things. <clears throat> really? Well, you don't get angry also. You do. Of course you do. Huh? <laughs> How do you express? Sorry. Come on, guys. Let's just talk. Sorry? The what? You won't speak. Okay, you go silent. Okay, so that's another expression of uh, anger. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So Viku says, when I am angry, I express it by stop talking with uh, anyone. Like, it's like what Francis said. Uh, yeah, thanks for sharing that, Viku. Uh, Surya says, showing bad expressions and raise our voice. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of ways to express our anger, right? I mean, we break things or we shout, uh, we them punch walls um kick stuff um what else or the silent treatment we give uh, the other person the silent treatment uh <laughs> yeah so expression is just an emotion i mean you're expressing what you're feeling isn't it uh everything so be it for worship and also similarly for praise uh so this section is talking about expressions of praise uh, and once again, I, even before we start 
uh, going through this list, I want to say it's not an exhaustive list. It's like whatever you see, what how many points are there? Okay, you know, nine points are there in your notes. So I'm not going to say there are only nine expressions of praise. Right? It's just an exhaustive list. Uh, when we decide to write a book on expressions of praise, we can have how many of our pages and how many points we want. But then we'll go through some of them. Okay? Is that all right, guys? I want you to keep your Bibles ready because I want us to read a few scriptures. Um, Surya says breaking mobiles and surrounding items sometimes by some people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody broken mobile phones in anger? Yeah, confession. <laughs> Only one. Many, many years ago. So don't judge me. <laughs> It was uh, Nokia 3310. You know one of those old phones? I mean, okay, you guys will not know that, but it was the phone of all phones. <laughs> it was the best phone. Uh, you could kill a person with that phone. <laughs> it was that heavy and solid, but it's the best phone ever. Uh, Nokia 3310. Okay. Anyways, um, right, so one of the expressions of praise okay, is singing. Okay, uh, let's go to some of the scriptures that's mentioned there uh, in the notes. Someone Can someone read Psalm 47, verse 6, please? Loud and clear, please. Thank you. Um, how, so how many times is sing mentioned in just that one verse? Four times in just that one verse. Just one verse. Sing praises to our God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. Okay. So uh, singing is one of the expressions of praise. Uh, Psalm 100 verse 4. Anybody? You can even paste it on the chat section if you have the verse. Uh, so. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. We all know the very famous one. So uh, we cannot. Uh, so we can at least conclude uh, that singing is a huge part of our lives. We sing uh, when you are happy. We sing when you are filled with joy. Um, I don't know if anyone sings when they are angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you know. You never know, right? Uh, but. But singing is an expression of praise. Okay, can anyone remember? Does anyone remember what is the the initial definition of praise that we learned? An expression of? It's an expression of adoration, and an expression of. What is it? You're applauding someone, isn't it? You're like your approval. You're giving. You're showing your approval. You're acknowledging someone, their greatness, their kindness, their goodness, or whoever they are. Right. So praise is what is an expression of your adoration. Okay, your adoration, adore. I mean, it's a simple image that I can't define adoration. Uh, I mean, you can get a dictionary meaning and whatnot, but then adoration for me simply is like you are adoring. You know, it's like you're both their ha your hands in their face and like you know, so beautiful. And if someone gifts you something, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, so beautiful. You turn it, keep turning it. You know, it's like whoa, iPhone 14. It's like oh. Wow, you know, so you're const you're giving your one hundred percent attention only to that one thing, right? So you're expressing your love, you're expressing your affection, your devotion, and your adoration, right? What is devotion? We have devotion times, right? <laughs> but what is what is devotion? Devotion in any other language. Time spent dedicated to something or someone. Okay, yeah. Devotion. I, I in other any other language, Hindi or something. Sorry. Time spent with God. Okay, but just devotion. Before we make it very spiritual, but just I'm giving you my devotion. When you say that to someone, what does that mean? Meditating with God, bhakti. Okay, Nina says. All right. Sorry. 
full attention okay i am so you must have heard this phrase i am this person's devotee you heard of that i'm a devotee of so and so person like you know like we have these followers right samarpit okay yes yeah, sean you're saying to like a time being oh yeah so it's almost like discipleship like you're you're someone's disciple right uh, in um, in the jewish uh, context there's a saying called in the dust of the rabbi okay everybody say in the dust of the rabbi okay so what it really means is it's a jewish thing so uh, when a rabbi is walking the disciple will walk so close with the rabbi that the dust that comes off his sandals will fall off on theirs and i mean that's how close they are and they want to do everything that the rabbi does and the end goal is to become like the rabbi and like you said so they are giving their devotion to a certain period of time only to the rabbi get what i'm saying and so when we say praise is an expression of our adoration and our devotion we're saying okay my focus it's like you know that horse thing a horse has that one thing you know so it doesn't get distracted it's just you so many things can be happening when we are worshiping and praise it can be distracting um but no matter what happens you are saying my eyes are only for you right so that is also an expression of adoration right and so that's also what's the notes are singing so that is and and so singing is an expression of that one of the expressions and the other thing is shouting what's the hebrew word for shout Hebrew word for shout, shouts of praise. Shouts of oh, praise. Shabbat. <laughs> okay, wake up. I'm sure it woke up a few people. So, yeah, Shabbat, right? Um, so that's shouting. Shouting is another expression of praise, uh, the Bible says. So, Psalm 147, uh, verse, uh, sorry, Psalm 47, verse 1. And Psalm 66, verse 1, somebody, please. Very quickly, we'll go through this section. So, Psalm 47, verse 1, anybody? All right, thank you. Shout for joy with voice of triumph. Okay, another example of what also happens in the wall of Jericho. Right? Uh, God commands them to lift up a shout. And that is an expression, right? We can't say, okay, shout. Yeah, oh, sure, I'll shout. I'm shouting on the inside. You don't see it. My heart is actually screaming. You know, <laughs> it's an outward expression of praise. Is also shouting, right? Uh, how many of you like to do that? In praise, in the context of praise, how many of you think it's scary? <laughs> how it's not scary, uh, uh, fathers. It's very intimidating, isn't it? What some of the things that the Bible asks us to do: uh, shout for joy, all the earth, and uh, you know, and something like that happens. Uh, it's like, what happened? Is everybody okay? Uh, you know. Uh, are they, are they possessed and whatnot but then remember when we do it in the context of worship when you know the one you are worshiping uh you will erupt in shouts of praise right you guys with me okay um the third one third expression is clapping of hands um how many of you clapped your hands before tal tala correct no Tala, bajau. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> it's, um, so it can look like uh, some, uh, yeah, it's just clapping of hands, you know, everybody does it. Someone gives a nice speech. Like, Yay. This morning also I heard 
uh, I don't know who spoke, but uh, you know there was a round of applause. Right? Uh, we clap, right? Usually, when someone when someone important comes or someone has done something amazing, you you clap and whatnot. And when someone has done something wrong, uh, there is a sarcastic clap. You know what that is? <laughs> Thanks, Nina. Sorry, my Hindi is not great. So yeah, when at least recently with my friends, what I uh, what we do is when someone does a flop show. You know what a flop show is? Uh, we say slow claps. You know, <laughs> when my wife drops something, it's like, you know, she's known for dropping things. Uh, that's why we call her Butterfingers. So, <laughs> so it's like, wow, slow claps, guys. You know, but clapping can look like such a thing that, such a common thing. But, you know, one of the, I, I heard one of the people share this thing. When you clap, right, there's a sound that's emitted. Can you clap? Right? So there's a sound that is released, isn't it? Uh, to, to speak scientifically, there's a sound wave, right? A sound travels in wave, right? It's released. So it says that although you can stop hearing the wave, the sound, it goes on for eternity. It goes on for a long time. That wave, that's that it, it, the frequency of the noise. You can't hear it, but it keeps going on and on. So when you clap and when you praise God, you're not just doing it like, okay, I don't have an instrument. It's like, okay, I'm not clapping because my worship leader said, clap your hands. When you realize that the sound that is emitted from just clapping and it's going on, it's going to go on forever. Your praise is mingled with that clap. You understand what I'm saying? Your praise is mixed with that clap, and your praise is going on forever, and your praise is praising God. Isn't that a beautiful expression? None of you will ever clap the same again. Yes or no? <laughs> I hope so. Right, so singing, shouting, clapping of hands, lifting of our hands. Uh, we've studied that, right? What's uh, the two Hebrew words? The hands of praise and the thanks of praise. What is it? Ladaka. What? <laughs> I heard it as Ladakh. Yada. And? No, that's, uh, that's the songs of praise. Tahila is songs of praise. Yada and Poda. Hey, Francis, come on. Fist pump. <laughs> Yada and Toda, the hands of praise and the thanks of praise. Okay, so from that we've learned the importance and the significance of lifting our hands and praising, isn't it? Right. Again, even that we uh, we do it every time, every day we worship. Um, there's uh, if you go to Google Images and uh, search uh, and search for uh, the postures of worship, right? That it's it's funny. They've given different names for uh, you know, like. When you put your hands out like this, <laughs> when you put your hands out like this, when you put your hands out like this, they've given some funny names. I mean, you can look at it. But um, what is what is that posture showing or expressing when you lift your hands and praise? It could be like this. It could be like this. It could be like that. <laughs> so lifting up your of your hands is a symbol or is a posture of surrender. Okay, what else? What else? There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just openness. Okay. Yeah. Surrender, openness, thanksgiving. Nina says thanksgiving. Yeah. Reducing ourselves before God. Yeah. Thanks, Surya. Reducing ourselves. Yeah, Sean. Okay, you got to be a little loud. Okay. Because I. Okay, you allow God to enter you or work through you. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, guys, the acoustics in this room are really bad. So, yeah, you're open. Okay, yeah, your arms wide open. Okay, it could be so many things, isn't it? Like you're open, you're allowing God to work through you. You're surrendering, um, right? Absolute surrender is like saying, okay, you do whatever you want to do with me. I'm giving my all to you. We go back to the definition of praise. 
once again, isn't it? Like I'm giving you my adoration, my expression of adoration. You are my one thing, so I'm giving you my all. Yes? Um, so that's uh, a beautiful expression uh, of lifting of our hands. Uh, this, These points, like singing, shouting, clapping, you know, lifting of our hands is like, like Roshan, really? Why, why are you? You know, why? Why are these in these notes? I've been a Christian for twenty-five years of my life. I've been doing this for all my life. I know what it is. Uh, but somewhere in the journey, it is possible for us to lose. Um, what is? What do I say? Uh, the meaning, the wonder of it. Like you know, small, small things will become like overlooked. But when we again just pause and say, there's so much of meaning and power in all of these expressions. It, it it just takes a different perspective, right? Thanks, guys. So, uh, playing of musical instruments uh, is another expression of praise. Uh, so, playing of a musical instrument. If you can't play an instrument, is just one of the expressions that you're not. It's which is fine, right? But then, music musical instruments have been there from uh, at least from a very long time. Let me just say it like that. Okay. Um, and playing music alone is not an expression of worship. I'll say that again. Playing music alone is not an expression of worship. It's one of the expressions of worship, right? Um, so if you can't play an instrument, yeah, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, standing. Standing, this standing is an expression of praise. What does that posture communicate? Yeah. Your respect? Okay. Your respect, your honor. Yeah. <laughs> I just, this morning, right? I was yeah. Um, so I went to wish Chira, he stood up from his chair. And then I came here to wish them. So they, they stood up. Like you just sit. And so you, they're saying, you know, this is the natural response to respect, honor, whatever that is. But uh, it, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's a, such a simple thing that we do in our day-to-day -day lives, right? In everyday lives, when an elder comes, uh, you know, there's a difference between okay. So when an elder comes, you can either sit and shake their hand, or you can stand and shake their hands. Um, our, our culture is a little different, uh, so but there's there's a difference. And when you just stand and when you greet someone, right? The, there's like you are acknowledging their presence. So in the next class, uh, hopefully, when we, if you have time, I uh, want to talk about acknowledge, uh, acknowledging someone's presence. Okay, acknowledging God's presence. So standing goes uh, a long way, and singing uh, in the spirit. Singing in the spirit is another beautiful expression of praise. So. Um, um, how many of us pray? How many of us pray? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Krisha. Yeah, so we all pray. Uh, and uh, have, has there been times uh, where you prayed for five minutes and then you open my uh, your eyes and say, Look, I thought of praying for half an hour, but it's only been five minutes. Have you felt? Anybody felt? Or was it just me? You know, I've been praying, 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 full fire, and then open my eyes. Only five minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, how did these guys do it? You know, it's like, what do you pray for one hour, half an hour, two hours, and all of that? Uh, but then I learned the, uh, the the secret thing of praying in the tongues and the praying in the spirit, and then you just pray and pray and pray, and then that translated into singing in the spirit. Uh, it, it it was the whole different uh, expression of it. So, um, yeah, yeah, we could, yeah, we most of us can relate to that experience. It's the best experience. I mean, in a very funny way, you know, pray for five minutes and think you prayed for half an hour. <laughs> but singing in the spirit, I want to encourage you. Okay, once again, I want to remind you. I want to be very mindful of this class when I say it's okay if you can't play an instrument and it's okay if you can't sing. The question, the point of a worshipper is not that if you can sing. The point of a worshipper is that does your heart have a song? That's the whole point. Okay? If your heart has a song, you will erupt 
right? It could be the songs in the language that you can or in, in the spirit as well. So once you begin singing, once you begin just to pray and sing in the spirit, um, it, it's just you, you are going to be empowered and that's one of the beautiful expressions of praise. Um, and then the last two points is dancing uh, and kneeling. Yes, dancing is also a beautiful expression of praise. Uh, kneeling, bowing down, prostration is also another uh, expression of praise. Besides these nine points, uh, can you tell me some of the expressions of praise that you can think of? Like I said, these nine points are not the only uh, expressions of praise. There's so many. But then what, according to you, can and is an expression of praise? You understood my question, right? Guys, you understood my question? Right, so what according to you can be, uh, or what is your way of expressing your praise? I'm sure you're doing all of this, but in addition, is there another way how you express your praise? The question is for you online as well, sir. People, how many of you paint? Sorry, reading the word, yeah, and does anybody paint? <clears throat> so most of those paintings that you see, right, that one, and there's some paintings upstairs I saw, uh, most of it was done during a worship session. <clears throat> um, so that is another expression of praise. What else? Yeah, sure. Writing songs, yeah, writing songs is an expression of praise, yeah, because your heart is overflowing, isn't it? And so a song is just an overflow of what your heart is feeling, so, yeah. Smile. Anybody online? Uh, what do you guys think? What can be other expressions of praise? Thankfulness, yeah, thankfulness, spending time with God, reading the word and whatnot. What else, guys? Meditating. Meditating on on meditating on football. Yes. <laughs> on what on on God. I'm praying, okay. Uh, Jachin says, talking to God while I'm doing my daily activities. Nice. As in expressing my thankfulness from my heart when I'm alone. Yeah. Yeah. Just having a conversation, like I said, you know. Uh, there's so many things, guys. I'm just asking you because I want to know if you have your own unique, custom-made expression of praise. You know, it's like the designer series. <laughs> just one of a kind but just okay I guess that's it <laughs> uh, so don't let these expressions stop so find ways to express uh, your adoration your affection your devotion uh, to God okay so you guys with me you're still alive yes Right, so that's chapter four. Uh, talks about the power of praise and expressions of praise. Um, and just before we move on, uh, just read uh, Psalm 119, verse 169 and 172. Psalm 119, verse 169 and 172. 169 to 172. Six nine seventy uh seventy one seventy two. Thank you. Uh, so Krisha also says uh, one of the expressions of praise is using our creativity in any way to adore the Lord. It's a beautiful thing. I think I have to put that in the notes next year. Okay, uh, using our creativity. Everybody say creativity, right? Uh, in any way to adore the Lord. That's such a beautiful thing. Um, so what does that mean, creativity? Being, you, you are creative. Has anyone told you that, hey, you're a very creative person? <laughs> Sean says, like, yeah, no, no one's called me a creative person. <laughs> Yeah, me too, Sean. We're in the same group, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Thanks, Krisha. All right, so Psalm 169, verse uh, one, uh, sorry, Psalm 119, verse 169 and 72 says, 
May my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. So that means there is understanding when we read his word, right? May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. May my lips overflow with praise. For because you teach me your decrees. May my tongue sing your word. For all your commands are righteous. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right? Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this about Psalm 119. Have I? Um, have you read Psalm 119? <laughs> yeah. mm. Only one verse. Uh, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. <laughs> uh, so Psalm 119 has, appro uh, not approximately, <laughs> it has 176 verses. Can you, can you kind of confirm that? 176? Psalm 119 has 176 verse. Yeah? Every single verse, maybe with an exception of two, uh, but then will have these words, word, law, statutes, decrees, precepts, ways, a different translation of English can something has testimonies um, and whatnot. So every single verse of Psalm 119 will have these words. My mentor made me underline all of this in 2007. Um, and in all of these words, right, ways, precepts, statutes, decrees, promise, word, commands, everything simply means the word of God. Right, So uh, one of the writers says, Psalm 119 is a love poetry to the word of God. It's an expression. So it's like you said, you know, it's like writing a song, like writing a psalm for them was an expression uh, of their adoration. Okay, so uh, if you haven't already, uh, one of the exercises that you can do, it's going to take you like, say, two minutes, is underline all those words, ways, precepts, statues, not now, later. <laughs> uh, decrees and whatnot, and then read through those. Okay, it's a beautiful, beautiful psalm. Okay, so that's the psalm I just read from. It says, and look at the progression uh, of the of the verse there. Okay, it says, "May my cry come before you. Give me understanding, right? Give me understanding according to your word." So when we read his word, like you know, I said, an expression is reading his word. We get this understanding. I want you to remember this point very important, uh, you know, because we're going to learn about it in the next chapter. Understanding the importance of understanding, right? His word gives us understanding. May my supplication come before you. So now, as I read his word, I come before him with request, because you deliver me according to your promise. Once again, word. Now may my lips overflow with praise what is overflow i keep pouring water into this bottle you can see you know so keep pouring water into this bottle it's going to fill and and if i don't stop it's going to overflow right overflow so that's what it says my lips overflow with praise that means for your lips to overflow there already has to be praise inside of you right there should be enough and more Praise inside of you for your lips to overflow. What is your lips overflowing with these days? Mm. It's just a question. It's a, for y'all. Okay, Not, no one answers. But what are your lips overflowing with? Answer that to yourself. Okay. So my lips. May my lips overflow with praise for because you teach me your decrees. And look at the progression of it, right? I want my lips to overflow with praise because you teach me your decrees. Decrees, again, once again, means word. Right? So when we, guys, when we allow us to be ourselves as students before him, he teaches us how to praise and worship. Simple, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes or no? 
Yes? No? <laughs> right? The uh, Bible says the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Now, I'm your teacher. If you don't show up for class, who am I going to teach? No one. And so if we don't show up to Holy Spirit's class, who is he going to teach? Right? And so you have to make yourself available to say, I come before you, you teach me. And that's exactly what is happening here. Um, May my tongue sing your word, for all your commands, word, are righteous. Amen? Are you all still awake? Cool. So uh, let's just stop here for this this class. I know we're stopping a little early, but uh, an extended time of break for you guys. Um, so um, in the next five, 10 minutes, what you can do is go through Psalm 119 and uh, note those words. OK, if you have to make your Bible look a little dirty, it's fine. Underline it. Okay, if your Bible is too clean, uh, it's not. Just throw it outside. Okay, <laughs> it's, whichever pen you get, just keep uh, do that. Okay, so I'll stop the recording now for those online. Um, you know, just take, use the next uh, five ten minutes, also this break time to just do that exercise for yourself, and I'll see. You, uh, I'll see you all in uh, in twenty minutes. Okay. <laughs>